Before we dove into the details, we had to know the general design of the lobby. How do you recreate an historic lobby if you don't know what it looks like? Well, first we had to do our research. We found the original Thomas Lamb drawings at the Avery Archives of Columbia University here in New York City. We also tracked down high-resolution photos of the original lobby from the Theater Historical Society of America. And to top it all off, Evergreen's project manager visited the job site and climbed above the temporary suspended ceiling in the lobby. And what did he find there? Shoved back out of the way among the framing were old charred bits of the original plaster work. There were pieces of the plaster and tablature that lined the room, fragments of a guilloche that had adorned the ceiling, and parts of plaster ribbons that decorated either end of the room. We were able to clean those parts up, make molds of some of them, and cast new plaster parts that were put back into the lobby. Also, since most of the new parts still had to be sculpted by hand, the historic plaster bits allowed our sculptors to more easily copy the style of those masters who had labored over the lobby's ornamental designs almost 100 years before.